Sir, you're charged with especially aggravated kidnapping. You're also charged with aggravated assault. And you're charged with theft of a firearm worth less than $2,500. You're talking about stuff that is not relevant. Hello and welcome to the Court of Public Opinion. I am the recovery addict and boy do I have a case for you today. Why is the dog Whoa. chewing on this guy? I think they have got the wrong guy they there. They got the wrong guy. The dog was, was biting him. He roughing him up quite a bit. There's a lawsuit. As the agent for Peyton Ansley, John Milton, you are indicating to me that you're quite familiar with Peyton Ansley, John Milton, and that's basically you. Is that correct? I am the agent authorized to represent Peyton Anthony John Milton, as good in all capital letters. All right, and you understand for my purposes, though that language doesn't make any sense. So no, I do not. I understand. Okay, well, I'm telling you that. And so I am, until you disabuse me of the motion, or the notion, I am inclined to believe that you are both the agent and the person. So. And it's an I'm all not a person, I am one of the people, thank you. All right, okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not a person, I'm one of the people, and I... And I am a recovery addict. Thank you very much for being here. Welcome to the Court of Public Opinion. Uh, I said correct? that backwards. Welcome to the Court of Public Opinion. I am a recovery addict. Uh, we are here. We are here for uh, for Sarah Boone's letters. It's going to be a quick are hit. We're going to address subject matter jurisdiction. We're not going to address subject matter jurisdiction. We're probably not going to address anything else. We're not going to talk about the the manhunt that's going on in Philadelphia as we speak because we're going to be getting to that in, as soon as this is over. As soon as this is over, we're gonna we're gonna start a new one. And get back to the man hunt, man hunt and see what's up there. It is, it's been a crazy day. Uh, Joy says, "My uh, first of all, greeners. Uh, let me let me get this on the screen. Greeners, congratulations. First in chat. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, and also, Joy says, um, my first time hearing anything on super on Sarah Boone. You're you're about to get an earful, Joy. What? Uh, this is like baptism by fire. Really, you've jumped in on the deep end of the pool, but I think you're gonna love it. Uh, Bring the jury. Let's check this out, Greeners." Being first in chat has its penalty, its punishment, its prize, whatever you want to call it. Uh, first in chat is uh, responsible for everything IP related worldwide. We're gifting you the internet, my friend. It is all yours. We're going to package it up, email it to you uh, to do with as you see fit. Just please keep it running for the rest of us. And we appreciate your uh, your willingness to take on this, this small responsibility on top of everything else you already do. That being said, we, we have to get, um, let's see, where's my, I need seven. Where's seven? Okay, that's right here. Okay, we have, we have not one, not four, not three, but two letters from Sarah Boone today uh, that we have to get to, and we're going to read them. One of them is 16, 16 pages long. Karen says, no way you got the mail. No way, no way I already ran to the post office and got the mail, but, but yes, I did. <laughs> I got the mail, and I got this plushy pickle. <laughs> this plush pickle arrived in the mail, and I need to know who it came from. Because it just came from Amazon, as if they they knew my my soul and my desires, the the deepest whims of my heart, um, and got me this incredibly soft, incredibly soft pickle, which my kids have already um, begged to have. And I said, I need to at least show it on the live stream once. But uh, this is George, by the way. This is George. He comes with the tag, tells all about his backstory, and uh, he's a he's a, um, a squishamallow. Is that it? A squishamallows, but. Uh, He's, he's very soft, and so now the kids are going to come in and steal him. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I did run to the post office. They locked me in the post office. I kid you not. They locked me in the post office because they were going to close in about five minutes, and they didn't want any other customers to come in. They said, you're going to be the last ones, and they locked the door behind me, and you can't get out either. I'm like, isn't that like a, isn't that like a fire code or something? If there's only one entrance in and out of the building, which there is here, and you lock me inside, isn't that like bad? Bad for me? Anyway, they did, and but they let me out eventually, and we're here. Um, okay, all right. We have we have Sarah Boone letters, and these these I don't know where to start other than other than right here. Dear Judge Wooten, dear Judge Wooten, yes, Holly Mac is very handsome with a mustache. Looks really good. Holly Mac, did this come from you? I don't know who. I don't know. Who I'm not this. a camel. One second. Let's see who's calling in. Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Ryan Apple Snapple. Is 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 George from you? George is from Mackenzie and I. <laughs> Thank you so Mackenzie's much. Mackenzie's another one of the viewers that's actually one of my friends and we saw it and we were like, 
we have to send this uh, to recovery the, the kids, I let the, I let the kids open it. I saw on the outside of the box that it was labeled. Um, yeah. It was like a box inside a box, and it said plush. I'm like, it's, well, I want the kids to open this, you know. And immediately it was yeah, just like, good. oh, and just like a squeezy. It is so soft. I didn't know they can make, I, I mean, these. I, w- I wish they'd sponsor the show. I didn't know they could make plush soft animals this soft. It's like, I would yeah. say smooth like butter, but you don't want to be cuddling with butter. I don't know what, what, how, I mean, how, to, how to say that. But thank you, Ryan. This is awesome. We have to You're get welcome. to Sarah Boone's letter. Um, I wish, uh, yep. she probably wishes she had a, a comfy uh, squishable pillow like this, but... Uh, Ryan, Mackenzie, both of you, thank you very much for the, for George. He does look pretty cute with that mustache. Uh, All right. See everybody in chat. Thank you, Ryan. We'll see you. All right. Um, we have uh, we have a letter. We have a letter to read. We've we've had a tradition here. Um, there's a couple things. First, let me say on the forefront, I am appalled. I'm appalled at some of the things that are going on in Sarah Boone's case. None of them have to do with whether or not she is guilty in my mind. Okay? She's admitted to what she's done. I'm appalled that she thinks she's not should not be held responsible for that. I'm also appalled that it's been a long time and she says she has not waived her right to a speedy trial and she still has not had a trial. These things are issues. They should be addressed. I think they will be addressed properly in an appeals situation because I think there will be a conviction and a there will be a, and b there will be an appeal. Um, I'm not I'm not making fun of that or light of that. That being said, Sarah Boone is is crazy on a new level, and and so we're going to read this as as we continue with her her uh, I don't know her take on the world, which is different than everybody else's take. Everybody else's take. So here we go with just a a wee bit of um, how do you say this mood music mood music. I think that's what it is. Okay, I have to I have to look over here. Here we go. Uh, No, dear Judge Wooten. It's just Judge Wooten. We're cutting straight to the business. How do you feel about your about your attorney withdrawing? Uh, This is Judge Wooten saying this during an attempted video visit by a misrepresented, shifty reporter. This is how I was made aware of my attorney, Frank J. Bankowitz, cowardly, and for the second time trying to ungracefully bow out of my case. Mr. Matt Johnson. Please honor the integrity of ethics of a real reporter and not camouflage yourself as my friend in order to push your way through the rules and regulations of the correctional facility. Professional is also an option when scheduling, but clearly does not pertain to you. Just don't schedule at all as I have nothing to report to you or or court TV altogether. You're not even a real news channel and you only add the confusion and the hysterics wrongfully, illegally and inappropriately concocted in my case. Do not contact. Shots fired. From my perspective, am I surprised my attorney is trying to yet again give up completely? No. Is it a blessing? Yes. Let's be honest. Frank J. Benkowitz is a dud of an attorney. He is unprofessional, hides, lies, and is disrespectful. I've had a feeling when other attorneys spoke about him and winced, sighed, or rolled eyes, saying they have some of his clients, and after finding his three public recommends, I announced to the court, and and which he said pissed him off, being the reason for his first attempted withdrawal. Wait, wait, wait. This was going to be an adventure, but none, but nonetheless hoped for the best. Unfortunately, I seem to have gotten the worst. Thankfully, there are many other professional and sculptor, sculptor, she has better words than me, sculpulous, valiant attorneys still available. And hopefully after all my previous letters and six withdrawals to date, not by my choice, Judge Wooten, you will remove the blindfold this time when throwing your darts of justice at the, remember everyone has a constitutional rights and should be treated fairly, dartboard. And you were and you wear glasses, so let's go for the bullseye. Oh, she calls him four eyes here. Uh, please, thank you in advance for hopefully carrying this time. Also, if you're insistent on continuing to be my judge, as revolution is revolution is supposed to be every two years, I'm going to four now. And you've stated to me in your courtroom previously, I have not because I have not because I ask not. May you please observe and act independently as a judge and utilize your judicial authority to judicially maintain forward direction of proper, lawful, ethical treatment and respect of the client in any case. Effective communication between all parties, especially the client and attorney, is being made. Productive, regular progress is being achieved and all around fairness in, of and in every aspect is constant. It's a long sentence. 
Aren't you tired of getting my letters always asking about the same questions, concerns, and drab information? Please do not ignore and avoid what I have to say any longer, as I am sure the taxpayers are unapprovingly of their are unapproving of their tax dollars, mine too, being wasted for all my attorneys. You keep blundering. It took almost 14 months before I told you so, before my I told you so moment with Bankowitz and all my other attorneys. 42 months total. Please also see finally the absolute unfairness, fabrications, impediments, illegalities, illegalities, and dysfunctions ongoing in my case and how truly, unmistakably ransacked by the justice system and perverted by the whole world my entire case has been and become. Add yourself also to the mayhem, hype, and added difficulties. I have an unfair opportunity in everything with all the, the predisposed, non-permissive, illegally distributed, case-altering, sensitive information and details spread globally for everyone's viewing except me. My hand is known before the cards are even out of the box. There's not a bell anywhere that hasn't already been rung for all to hear. Seeds have been planted, all illegally and unfairly. This is a, a legitimate concern. The, the press this case has gotten is, is massive, and finding a, a jury that hasn't heard about this will be a challenge. For the monumental amounts of the allowing of time, allowing the world to abuse and devastate my private case information, lack of proper orders, not having appropriate attorney, and non-existent security and protection of any kind for all said information becoming so easily accessible, mutated, and shared without my permission and before my trial is unfair and unlawful that a heavily prejudiced, ignorant, incorrect prejudgment has been made as a result. This could have been stopped, lessened, or averted if someone was doing their job correctly. I am still doing mine by telling you, I am not wrong. No, still, I believe it all depends on how much money, notoriety, and benefits anyone and everyone can get for themselves. And however, no matter the destruction caused or the ominous, irreputable, shat, irreputable, irreparable sorry, shadow made along the very lucrative way, a system for all the wrong reasons. As for, as for Bankowitz and his irreconcilable differences, this means because I asked again about his phantom phone numbers and any progress occurring since not speaking to him in months and after. 408 days, 58 weeks, 9,792 hours of his representation from the date of appointment at 7-11-22 to withdraw attempt at 8-22-23 with only six in-person meetings totaling seven hours out of 9,792 and four 15-minute video visits and two phone numbers given, zero working, zero calls answered, 10 letters from me, the client, trying to communicate, no response, eight letters from me, the client, to judge, no response productively, Four letters from me, the client, to my investigator asking him to attempt communication on my behalf to Bankowitz. Five known attempts by investigator, uh, see the letter, by himself directly and on my behalf, no response. Nine attempts made by outside sources on my behalf, including phone calls, voicemails, emails, no response. Also, trying to use recycled components in my case. No discovery witness list, research orders, instructions, records, depositions, downloads, etc. after 13 months. Nothing but confirmation of his lack of professionalism, principles, disrespect, lies, and not caring. And please note, 11 out of 13 months were slash are with no communication, none, in any form. The only difference is I want progress, productively, honestly, and respect Respect and results. If he were such a professional attorney from the beginning and not selling me on his stable of witnesses, historical backgrounds, and all his abundant resources, he wouldn't be still avoiding and cowering behind his now second attempt to withdraw, number two motion to withdraw. Clearly, everyone can see, anyone, not, not lobotomized, in my, shape, uh, in my slides, no, she was wearing slides apparently, in my slides would be highly unsatisfied with Bankowitz's overall performance as an attorney, see prior data, and no dedication has been made on his part in my case or any productive progress or effort. What time has been put forth, put forth solely? The seven out of 9,792 hours in 13 months, number three motion to withdraw. As I reminded Bankowitz during the one of four visit of video visits with him, repeatedly telling me how, to, how busy he is with all his other murder cases after, again, no communication for months, I politely raised my hand to the camera where he could see and said, murder case, I'm your client and also have been. When do I get to go to trial like all the other clients? He said that he had to think about everything and disconnected. No word since, 100 days later, except for the withdrawal I learned about from court TV, not him. That's the number four promotion to withdraw. Judge Wooten, with everything I have stated and on all my information produced to you in all my previous letters, you are 
you are aware. Clearly, Bankwitz should not continue being my attorney. Wouldn't you agree? Clearly, you should have listened and reviewed much earlier when I was trying to communicate with you 10 letters ago just about him. Please listen and include me going forward. It is my right. Ooh, this one's upside down. So this will be a lot of fun. Well, maybe I could just do this. I'm going to read it off the iPad. This is tricky. This, this is the first time I've seen this letter, guys. Sorry. With that being said, and because it in, the, in the past you have stated to me that you have other priorities, not allowing me rightful appropriate time to speak in your co courtroom when I am allowed per permittance to my meetings, and I am on your schedule for that day, four times going to court with Bankowitz, total times with all the other attorneys, three times, seven times going in four years, April 29th, 2022, first attorney withdrawal attempt, judge made, reversed, made, re made revised twice, twice. May 10th, 2022, first attorney withdrawal attempt, agreed and granted. Trial was 523. December 27th, 2022, sixth attorney withdrawal, denied. I never even knew about until I, sta uh, I stated in court during status hearing. No copies received yet. Four, Fe February 10th, 2023, status hearing, carryover. Five, March 31st, 2023. These are all the dates she's been in court. Status hearing, carryover. Six, May 25. I'm sorry, this is upside down for you. It's right side up for me now. Um, 6, May 25, 2023, status hearing, carryover, judge slated, stated I was delaying trial, me, hence my letter dated 6, 29, 23, hand delivered, second copy, 7, 21, 23, and July 21st, 2023, status hearing, carryover, judge stated that he has other priorities for the day when I was trying to address the court. Please grant Frank J. Bankowitz motion to withdraw, dated 8, 23, 22, 23, as my attorney, in all caps and underlines. I, Sarah Boone, permit Judge Wayne C. Wooten to please to release Frank J. Bankowitz entirely from my case for obvious aforementioned reasons stated. I will allow withdraw when it should be termination. We all know it. Me and my hope. Next. It's still upside down. Oh, wait, now it's right set up for you guys. I, I have to flip my side again. The only difference is I want progress, productivity, honesty, respect, and results. If you were such a professional attorney from the beginning, nuts. Well, this is back. They rescanned us again. Man, this they've they've done a mess of this. We'll scroll down a little bit. We read that letter already, and then it's upside down. Well, that was the upside down letter we just read. I scrolled the wrong direction. That's what happened. I was confused by the. Okay, next. In the meantime, of the selection of my next attorney, um, something, aim please. Oh yeah, aim please, of the dartboard. And also going forward, please enable and support me in still trying to utilize my constitutional rights as a still proud citizen of the United States and stop willingly, actively allowing the violations of said rights. See previous letter dated 5 15, 2023. Please include me. Please listen to what I have to say. No one else does or has. It is my case. Hopefully, futuristically, with a better, more appropriate professional attorney of your choosing, less letters, if any, will be generated, and more time you will have to dedicate to all your priorities you made known to me in the past. Please also know that, Your Honor, I know I am not, uh, not priority, as you condescendingly and incorrectly stated, nor am I making myself out to be or ever have been in anything my entire life. I am a client to my attorney, now seventh and all prior, an inmate to the county jail, and criminal case for your righteous judgment. Still, clearly, after yet another letter from me and another withdrawal, not by my choice, and 42 uneventful months later, still looking for the starting line, and seven times more, nothing has been made priority. Please help Bankowitz wipe the sweat from his brow and inform him he can stop the self-sabotage. He is no longer my attorney. Amen. My pers perseverance is real. So is my truth. I cannot wait to meet the bullseye. Court appointed. Audacious gratitude, <laughs> Sarah Boone. Important. Oh, it's, we've got a PS. Please send me a copy of this letter as the court used to con used to consistency, so I have receipt and know it has been received and hopefully read. I do not have the resources being in jail still to make this needed copy myself, nor the pen ink to rewrite. Hopefully, my next letter will be less involved from all the necessary remedies being made. Also, my attorney is really an attorney. Thank you in advance for the copy, ten pages. Your caring and precious time. I will look for in the mail. Look. For 
look for in the mail once the copy has been mailed. Again, so grateful, Sarah Boone. And, and that concludes letter number one. Now, sorry for the confusion with the ups, down, and scan. We get to the top here. That was sent August 26th, okay? August 26th. But wait, <laughs> there's more. Because August 30th, just four days later, Sarah Boone uh, found more ink, got another paper, and is now writing again uh, directly to the clerk of courts, Judge Wayne C. Wooten, uh, with the case number, clerk of courts, Judge Wooten, anyone. So now this is the first time the clerk of courts has been addressed on this. So confused. Hang on one second here. Um, <laughs> I don't want this to interrupt. Um, let's see, where can I put this? Feed up, wine poured, smile on face, wine glass, champagne bottle with popping cork, wine glass, champagne bottle with popping cork, Sarah, oh Sarah, my oh my. <laughs> she is, she's, uh, she's interesting. And, and I will say, I believe that she has legitimate concerns, very legitimate constitutional right concerns that she is raising. The way she's doing it may not be effective, but we cannot ignore the fact that she is still sitting in jail, having not been convicted, and still does not have good representation. Okay, here we go. To the clerk of courts, Judge Wooten, anyone. So confused, so tired of a perpetual question marks over my head. As usual, thanks to the ongoing convolution of everything, from no communication, no system, not including me, and no care. And I can't ask my attorney because he's trying to withdraw again. I wouldn't get a response anyway. It's funny how the only piece of correspondence via mail I have actually received from Bankowitz is his motion to withdraw as counsel, number two. Judge Wooten, please clarify my, my requested information as follows. So I, the defendant in my case, can prepare and plan accordingly. See letter dated 62923 and delivered second copy 72123. What is going on? This information in question is all I have from an outside source looking on the clerk's website to keep me updated since no one else will. I've tried to dilute some of the question marks, but need you, Judge Wooten, to help me get it correct and begin my preparation. Please clarify and send copies for... Let's see. Uh, notice of hearing for pretrial conference, September 8th, 9 a.m. Defendant received re receive copy? Yes, from court. Is defendant attending? Unknown. Why didn't I receive a copy from attorney? Filed December 20, July 26th. Sorry, I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, notice of ex parte. Notice of ex parte. When? September 8th, 9 a.m. Defendant received copy? No, from either. Need copy. Is defendant attending? Unknown. I thought the PTC was on this date. See previous filing. Is this meeting for the recycled psychologist? Why didn't I receive a copy from court? Why didn't I receive a copy from attorney? Filed August 22nd, notice of hearing, status hearing. When? September 15th, 9 a.m. Defendant received copy? Yes, from court. Is defendant attending? Unknown. Is this for the motion to withdraw? It was filed the same day. If not, what for specifically? Why didn't I receive a copy from my attorney? Filed August 22nd, 2023. Title, motion to withdraw as counsel. Defendant received copy? Yes, from attorney. Why didn't I receive a copy from the court? <laughs> she wants everything in duplicate. <clears throat> so the court's given her copy. She says the attorney didn't. Attorney gives her copy. She says the court doesn't. Uh, August 22nd, notice of hearing, motion to withdraw, banquet, signed document. When? September 8th, 9 a.m. Defendant received copy? No, from either. Need copy. Is defendant attending? Unknown. Two meetings are scheduled on this day. Already scheduled on this day. See previous filings. What is correctly happening? This was filed the same day as attorney's motion to withdraw. Why didn't receive a copy from, of this from him also? Why didn't the court send a copy with the, state, the status hearing notice filed the same day as the motion to withdraw? Which date is correct for the actual motion to withdraw? Again, what is going on and when? I, am rarely, I rarely am included on slash in the certificate of service for any documents filed or anything else. It should be an automatic inclusion. Please send revised and or all correct copies of the aforementioned documents. So I have from my records and is the only way I know, unless I'm able to find an outside source. Again, receiving copies of notifications, updates, schedules, everything to all my meetings, conferences should be automatic, so I know. It is my right. Please include, finally. Am I really the only one who is trying to figure anything out for and about my case to finally conclude? Shouldn't I, the defendant of all parties in my case, be included overall and receive the necessary needed copies? Please clarify everything, Sarah Boone. So this last letter is just clarification and, and some gripes about not receiving duplicate copies or any copies of some of the filings that have been showing up on the court records. Is Sarah Boone really writing those letters? Todd, yes, she is. 
These are official records on the court case uh, on the, the Orange County, Florida court website scanned into the record as correspondence from the defendant to the judge. So these are these, I mean, literally, you can go up to the top and it's it's stamped. Oh, this one isn't. Let's see if the other one is. Some of our previous ones have been stamped as received and filed. Um, we could we could show you those, but but this is real. Um, let, let me say this. I, I don't know how else to, to put this. Sarah Boone is is possibly next to insane for thinking that zipping someone in a suitcase where they can't breathe, where they're begging for their life, saying they can't breathe, Sarah, please let me out. And she's saying, F you, this is how you make me feel when you cheat on me. This is how you make me feel when you choke me. Um, you know, save your breath. That That's my name. Don't wear it out. Okay. No one in their right mind thinks that she is not guilty if they've watched this evidence and heard her own words in her own video while she filmed George dying in that suitcase. Uh, nope. Well, my kids are racing around the house uh, screaming that that being said okay take that take that aside I, I believe she's guilty I believe she has told me she's guilty and I believe her okay I believe that she did she just doesn't want the the punishment for that but speedy trial is an issue I I don't think cinnamon bear she I don't think she should represent herself look at look at um, Daryl Brooks look at Daryl Brooks I, I know we, we hate to look at him but he did such a poor job representing himself just from a logistic standpoint. Take all the solve, sit, um, natural citizen, that's not my name. Take all that junk out of there. Just understanding how to bring evidence into trial, how to, how to object, how to file a motion, um, how to argue something before the judge. Uh, very few people should be their own attorney for that reason alone let alone being able to um, keep straight all the witnesses and the cross-examination questions and, and, and everything in your head as the case is developing and going forward and calling and subpoenaing witnesses and scheduling them and the court correspondence that you need to file with, with the opposing counsel and dis, um, discovery and everything else. That Nobody should be their own lawyer, period. Even a really good lawyer should have a lawyer. Um, she should have better representation than what she's received here. And from what we hear from Frank Bankowitz, he hasn't really done much for her because he's too busy. So she is right on that regard, and that should be addressed. How can you imagine? Uh, can you imagine how much paper is in her cell? It's got to be getting to be a fire hazard at this point, or maybe she has a few dozen filing cabinets. Uh, it's common for inmates to have copies of a lot of their their paperwork. They should have access to that. Um, some of this in this last letter, I'm not sure. It, it might be like a it's policy to send a copy thing but if someone else already did and and it's been recorded then maybe they won't she wants duplicates of everything that's not that's not saying hey i was denied justice because i didn't get a a duplicate copy of this letter yeah, that an appellate court is not going to look at that and say oh you're right the court screwed up they should have sent a copy of your letter that you mailed to them so uh yeah you're you get a reach no it's not going to happen that way but so this is this is more petty but when it comes to the time she spent in jail waiting for trial with no progress. The number of attorneys that she's gone through that have uh, bailed on her case, she has some legitimate arguments that she's raised in several letters where she says, my, my, all my, my, the material, the evidence in my case from my first attorney has not made it through all the other attorneys. It got, there are things that got lost along the way. There's documents that got lost that we had originally and through all these attorneys and the changeover and changeover and changeover, things are just missing. That's a problem. The fact that she is not getting any representation, she is getting some. Uh, even the judge, uh, by his order, ordering Frank Bankowitz to meet with his client, recognizes that she should get more representation than she has been getting. But as far as having demand 24-7 for all, what was it, how many days? 6,792, I, I forget. Um, all the days that she wants representation for, that's not how it works. Okay, I, I have a doctor. And I can have an appointment, I can see my doctor, but I don't have the doctor on speed dial and anytime I want to talk to him, have him just appear in my living room to consult me personally. That's not how they work. The professional does their own job. They have other duties and they're going to take that. Some of these things that she's complaining about, saying she wants to have copies of everything, I think legally the lawyer can receive for her. That, and, and then you know he should provide access to those documents to her. But as far as her saying everything should be coming to me, I should be running everything. She sort of is acting like she wants to be her own attorney in that regard, uh, but at the same time wants the benefits of having uh, counsel. 
Um, anything that's, uh, it's crazy. I know I have, I've ignored chat a little bit on this. I apologize. This lawyer was awful. Says Kathleen Davis. She does have good points and deserves a good lawyer. She does everybody, even, even the ones we, we soul heartedly wholeheartedly believe are, are completely guilty deserves a good lawyer. That's how the system works. And that's how it keeps working. Um, so I think she needs a new lawyer. And honestly, if, if they cannot produce a copy of her, signing away her right to a speedy trial. She might get off. That that's my take. And maybe she should. Okay. I, I don't I don't think it's right that there will be no justice for George, especially when we have the person who is literally admitting to killing him or doing the you know, taking the steps that killed him. Um, it's not right that he doesn't get justice. But if she also has not get just gotten justice in the system, our, it, the system is designed for protections. And even though it works in her favor and against sort of justice, I think it's better that we keep those protections and she is let off, literally let off. Um, and, and of course, you know, higher, wiser minds than my own have to make this decision in, in the legal system. But if she has not waived her right to a speedy trial, she should not still be in jail, period, end of story. All right, um, that said, we have we have a manhunt to go back to. So how about how about the fugitive? Uh, yes, we're going to talk about that. Uh, we need to replace Sarah Boone with a fugitive. Did one of her lawyers waive speedy trial? And how much of her lawyer problems are? Yes, Chad. One of her lawyers did um, file documents with the court, or I believe it was in October. I'm thinking October of 2021. And I'll have to go back and see if, if it's her signature on there or if it was filed on her behalf, but. Either way, there should be a document with her waiving her right to a speedy trial. There should be a court appearance with her showing up and acknowledging that she waives her right. There should be something uh, pretty, pretty firm that states that that, that that's been waived. Uh, for example, in Brian Koberger's case, they just, they just barely did this. They just barely waived his right to a speedy trial. And they would have been in trial here, what, in the next month if he hadn't waived his right to a speedy trial. It's that serious of a deal. The state, even though it's a quadruple murder with be eons of evidence, so much stuff to go through. They would have gone and proceeded with trial because if they don't, he can be set free because he has a right to a speedy trial. It's a guaranteed right. Guilty or not, her rights need to be met. I agree. Um, let's see, Tish. Uh, I, Tish works in the public um, public defender's office, right? Um, says how our office works, and most the court sends out all documents, and then we copy, we send the copy, the client a copy with our own correspondence with an explanation of what it is. The explanation is useful. It sounds like she she could really benefit from that. She's sort of getting a crash crash course in courtroom terminology, and so when there's a filing, um, she's like ex party. What what is this? What what's this meeting? She doesn't know what they're, what they're about. All the hearings. Anyway, um, that said, I feel so sorry for the next lawyer that gets appointed to this case because we've got a couple problems. Judge Wooten is, is obviously, he's on the record of saying he wants this to go forward. He's ha he hates that this is delayed this long. He needs, he says, even though she waived the right to a speedy trial, we should be making progress. He wants this to progress. So for that reason, I don't think he wants to release uh, Frank Bankwitz from her case, her assigned public defender. But if Frank Bankwitz has asked to be released and the, the client has asked for him to be released, and they show cause for him to be released, which is he's not doing any work to help the client, I think he might need to be released. And then the judge has got this deadline of, hey, we need to move forward on this case, and I need to appoint someone else, and they need time to get up to speed. And those two are going to come together, and we're also going to have a situation where Sarah could say, hey, ineffective counsel. He hasn't even been able to read everything. We just had to you know, hit the, hit the ground running and, and just hope and pray that we could put together a case and make it happen. But... And he's playing with a short stack anyway. Um, anything else we need to bring up here before we wrap up? I've, I've been ignoring chat just a little bit. I vote to combine his names into Frankowitz. <laughs> Frank Jowitz, because it's Frank J. Bankowitz. Frank Jowitz. Frank Jowitz. That's, that's a mouthful. It really is. Um, let's see, with the ability of information to be shared on the internet, at some point the requirement of not hearing about trial will, will have to be changed. Uh, Chad, um, not directly to your question, but it reminded me of something that she brought up in her first letter. She is really upset. Um, she's upset that we have copies of the, her letters. 
She really is. Even though some of her letters are literally addressed to the world, um, to the press, to the media, to she addresses it to everyone. She doesn't like that. Um, she doesn't like the fact, but the fact is she committed a crime in a state that has open records. She, they have the Sunshine Act law that the courts basically say, we are an open book. Everyone can come in and see, unless it's, it's like really sensitive material, unless it involves children, um, unless there's a reason to seal it. Uh, they say, we're an open book. Anyone can see this. And it's, it's public on, online. You can just search it up. You could. Anyone can go to the to Orange County Court Records page and search it, punch in Sarah Boone on the search records and pull up all these documents for all the years. And they're all available. And she doesn't like that. She thinks that she has a right to say, since it's my document, I can tell you if you get to see it or not. Florida says, no, that's not the case. Florida says that's open. That's fair for everyone to see. Um, so she's upset about that. In that, she's mistaken. Um, how do you how do they determine who gets a speedy trial? True crime junkie. Any any defendant has a right to a speedy trial. This is this is a constitutional level level um, right. They have a right to a speedy trial. You can't be held indefinitely without being charged. The actual how long that speedy trial is, is it 90 days, is it 100 days, is it, you know, three months, is it, you know, there's, there's different standards and that varies a little bit from state to state. But within that, that framework, unless you have gone to the judge and said, Your Honor, I realize I have a right to a speedy trial and I could hold you accountable and say, I demand to be held and be, you know, appear in this courtroom by X date. You know, you, you don't get to set the date, but whatever it is, if it's a hundred days in your, your state within the hundred days of being arrested and being held in jail, you can't hold me for more than a hundred days without pulling me up in court and having a trial by a jury of my peers uh, to see if I'm guilty or not. Um, they have that right. And the judge says, yeah, we have to do it. And the, they'll, he'll, they'll move schedules, do whatever they have to do to make sure that they have that speedy trial. But if you stand up and say, your honor, I know I have that right. I know I, I have the right to demand a speedy trial, but I'm going to waive that right. Um, for whatever the reason, it might be my lawyer needs more time. Like in, in Mr. Um, Koberger's case, Brian Koberger's case, his lawyer said, we need more time to just look at the evidence. There's just so much to look at. We need more time. Um, it can be whatever the reason they could say it's a scheduling issue. You know, we're okay with it. Um, in also, we saw in Corey Richens case, it was, uh, too much evidence. We need more time. They waived your right to a speedy trial. And, and so it's, it's going to be pushed out again. Anyway, um, Let's see. Assuming you believe she has no record. Uh, no, she has a record. She has a record even for assault against the person that she's accused of killing here. They've both done time for, for assault. Read Lee's comment. Where's Lee's comment? I've been, let's see. Frank end of wits. <laughs> Was that the comment? <laughs> he is at the end of his wits. The poor guy has had... Um, Yes, she's right. He has been ad admonished by the judge for failing to communicate with his clients. That's a problem. She's saying the same thing is happening. He's been in, you know, in trouble with the court for not paying his taxes on some employee stuff. He got that sorted out. Uh, but he's also had a lot of medical issues. He got COVID like six times, apparently. I don't know. If that's exaggeration, but it seemed like he was always saying he was sick. Um, he's got some back surgery stuff. He's, he's, he's an older guy. He probably should retire. Um, hopefully he just enjoy your retirement. What's what's left of life? He's he's uh, he needs some time off. He doesn't have the energy for this case. Wrap it up and put it in the book the the moon bag. <laughs> we are going to be done here. We're going to be done. We're going to end this. I'm going to get ready because we're going to go back to check out what's happening. Where? Um, how about up here in the manhunt? Let's see the update. Yep, we've got a. We've got inbound chopper. News choppers are inbound, so we're gonna we're gonna see what happens here. So let's wrap this up now. Um, I will say thank you very much for joining me for this update on Sarah Boone with these two letters. We have another update tomorrow, and and we're gonna be doing the the manhunt, but also keeping an eye on what's going on in the Sarah Boone case tomorrow. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. We're gonna try to do that, but uh, I read somewhere that you wave right speedy trial on eleven to twenty. Is that wrong? Um. I would say that sounds right. It was either 20 or 21 for the year, and it was uh, the right month. It was like October, November time period. But I don't know if she actually waved her right or if the lawyer waved to the right for her. And a lawyer can't wave that right for you without... That's a decision you yourself have to make. Um, and I got a notification from Nick. That's awesome. All right, so we're going we're gonna to wrap this up. We'll pick up again in just a minute. Um, probably not a full 30-minute wait. But we'll pick up with the... Uh, the search that's going on up in PA will follow that into the night as we assume that the action is going to pick up. The crews are staging there. We've got an update from Nick. I have to tell you, they're doing donuts and coffee for the reporters. 
tomorrow. Okay, they they've summoned everyone's like, hey, come come check out the gear we've got searching for this. I think they uh, they feel the pressure from the public saying we want to know what's going on, and they're going to give them a little peek on the inside, pull back the curtain a little bit. We'll see from Nick a little bit about that. We'll catch that in just a minute. Uh, to all those who are here just for Sarah Boone, thank you very much. I appreciate that. We are going to follow this case through to the end, whenever it happens. Um, and, uh, and all we can do is say that tonight when you go home, please hug the people you love, smile at someone, make their day just a little bit better, and please stay safe till we go live again, which it, for some of you will be in just a couple minutes with the manhunt up in Pennsylvania. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in just a bit.